Now, this is an incredible story. Amputee children across Israel, the Gaza Strip, the West Bank, Syria and Brazil are being given a helping hand thanks to innovative printing technology and scientists from the Technion Israel Institute of Technology. They've created prosthetic limbs and they're giving them for free to children in need. Now, the solution not only aids a child's physical ability, but it's an enormous confidence boost. Here's a bit about the initiative. Take a look. These days, at least in Israel, children don't get uh, a prosthetic from the government. Even adults can't afford a bionic hand. They, they can only get uh, only aesthetic hands that don't have any functionality. There are some uh, daily activities that this hand really helps with. Uh, they can hold two things simultaneously, they can catch a ball, uh, and they can do other things that weren't able to do before. Now, the reason I love my job is to be able to introduce people like this next guest. Joining me from his lab at the Technion Israel Institute of Technology is Professor Alon Wolf. Professor, great to have you with us. An incredible venture because we know that prosthetics, uh, prosthetic arms and hands, they don't come cheap. So how did this initiative come to be? Well, the, the initiative came to be about four years ago, five years ago, when I visited in the United States uh, an activity, another activity that we lead here in the techno called FIRST Robotics. And I met a gentleman called uh, John Scholl, who runs an organization in the U.S. when they started to print or design such hands. And then uh, after discussing this with him, we decided to bring the project here to Israel and, and especially to the Technion and uh, use the, 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 you know, the manpower that we have here, the students, the engineers, the scientists, to further develop those hands and make them available to children all over the world. And I understand you're there with one of your students. Tell us a bit about what we can see on the table over there. What you could see here, by the way, this is Yair, one of my PhD student. He's one of the leaders of the project, uh, together with Shunit. You see different um, samples or uh, models of hands. Some are more simple, like this simple mechanic hand, which is purely mechanics. It's activated by the wrist of the child. This is in a case of where the amputation is just above the fingers. Uh, but some cases, the amputation of the child is be behind the wrist or even below, uh, 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 or below the elbow, even above the elbow. And there, uh, in these cases, we have to develop something which is more sophisticated, more robotic, more mechatronics, like the device that you here is now uh, demonstrating to you. This is a, a robotic hand. Yeah, maybe you want to explain a little bit. Yeah, so we try to create these uh, devices. Everything is, by the way, you know, based on uh, 3D printers and uh, uh, low-cost hardware. We try to implement, you know, sophisticated algorithm and design processes in, in behind uh, the hardware. But the hardware is cheap and, and is isn't available, you know, anywhere in the world. And, uh, you know, we try to make this hand as, as easy as to use mm. for the child as mm. possible. So, uh, you know, uh, we have motors integrated in and uh, feedback that goes back to the user uh, so he can know, you know, how the hand is grasping and how it's working. That's amazing. And I'd like you to maybe bring it a little bit closer to the camera so we can have a, a better look at it. Because I understand that, you know, while the children have to come into the lab, some of them to, to actually uh, have it fitted to their hands, other people don't. They can print it from, from their home. How does that work? Well, we share all our designs on the web. So uh, you can actually log into our website and uh, download all our designs, the codes and the instructions. Like, just like IKEA, you go and you produce it yourself. Unbelievable. And I understand that there are some uh, remarkable stories about people that you have helped. Uh, tell us about one of the children you helped that requested an extra long arm and what he wanted it for. Um, so, yeah, we have all, all kind of unique uh, requests. And I think one of the main benefits of, of this hand is that, you know, the child gets to design it himself. You, know, you can put any logo you want on it. So we have, you know, an, you know, an Iron Man hand and, you know, different, so here you see, Minimals. And this is, you know, per the request of the child, you can choose his color, um, you know, the design, and also, you know, very unique requests that we never thought, you know, they would want. They asked for, uh, you know, we had a child that asked for uh, six six fingers, so he has a hand with two thumbs. Uh, 
uh, and a child that asks for a very long arm because it wants, you know, it wants to reach things on higher shelves, you know, that yeah. other kids can. So, you know, these hands can give them ability to create, you know, to do things that, you know, they can't do with a regular hand. Unbelievable. Well, you gentlemen are certainly changing the world and we really appreciate you sharing that initiative with us. Uh, Dr. Allah, uh, Professor, rather, Professor Wolf and Yair, thank you for that insight. Thank you. Thank you.